Hey everyone, it's Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're taking a look at the Spool Tool. Their website is spooltool.us, and I first saw this item on Facebook, and so I contacted Spool Tool, asked them if they'd send me along a couple of the Spool Tools for review. They agreed to do so very graciously, so we have them here. Very innovative and creative item to store and deal with cutting your paracord. So let's take a look at them, we'll talk about some of the features, and then show you how it actually works. If you head over to the Spool Tool website, you'll find out a couple things. First, that it's a veteran-owned business. And second, if you scroll down to the bottom of the first page, you'll see the story of how Spool Tool came to be. Basically, the creator of the Spool Tool saw a lot of people struggling with paracord getting tangled, getting unraveled, and then particularly when they cut it, how do you seal up those ends? You're scrambling to try and find a lighter. And so the Spool Tool came out of that concept. They put it together, and now they're selling it. If you do want to buy it, it's available at a variety of different stores. From the Spool Tool website, you can get the Spool Tool that has no paracord on it for $18.99 and the one that has 50 feet of paracord for $23.99. Let me talk through some of the different features and then we'll actually show you how it works. First you can see down here there's a hole so if you wanted to put a small carabiner or maybe even some paracord to attach the Spool Tool to a backpack, you could certainly do that. Over here you have your blade which cuts the paracord and these two screws can be taken out so you can replace the blade if it does get dull. Over here you can see the location for your mini Bic lighter and you can see I've actually placed one in here. It does not come with a Bic lighter but very inexpensive obviously you can pick one of those up for less than two dollars. That's where the Bic lighter goes. Obviously your paracord is going to run like this as it's shown over here and then over here these little cutouts are two things. One you can actually put the end of the rope and store it in there and also this is the way you seal up the rope after you cut it and light the end of it with your uh, with your lighter to get it all sealed up. So let me show you how the spool tool actually works. I take my paracord, I unravel whatever length I desire. Once you have it unraveled, the best thing I found to do is to put the lighter side down and the blade side up. And then what you're going to do is take your paracord and just run it along the blade like so. And that's going to cut the paracord. Here's my extra piece here. I'll get that out of the way. Now I've got this paracord, but as you can see, the end is obviously frayed. So what I'm going to do at this point is run it into one of these notches. There are notches on both sides of the spool tool, and they are slightly different from larger down to smaller. Now that I have this all lined up, I'm going to take out my Bic lighter, and I'm going to light the end of the paracord. I usually try to get the inner strands pretty much equal with where the outer uh, coating or the outer portion of the paracord is doesn't have to be actually be you know, a flame when you do this, but once you get it down to where it's nice and hot, smoking a little bit, now I'm going to slowly pull this through this notch, twist it as I do, and as you can see, it seals up the end, a couple strings hanging off there, but it seals up the end nice and tight, so I don't have a ton of the inner strands showing, just nice sealed paracord. In conclusion, here's what I'd say about the spool tool. For an inexpensive price, you get a very well-made item that allows you to store and cut your paracord easily. I encourage you to check these guys out online at spooltool.us. As always, thanks for watching Everyday Tactical Vids. Please like this video and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.